Hello, I'm Matt Zeller, Applications Manager for 3B Sigma USA here in Georgetown, South Carolina. Today in our applicative laboratory, we're focusing on renewable materials, very popular with the clean beauty crowd. While eating an apple is not good GMP in the lab, I wanted to highlight the fact that we're using high natural origin index materials supplied by 3B Sigma and derived from rice, olives, and apples. Eating all three foods together would not taste very good, right? But separately, these are fine and healthy foods. Similarly, combining these three into a mild exfoliating body wash grants three fine contributions from each element independent of each other. Well, snack time's over. Let's make this thing. This formula relies on suspended solids to work for a personal care client, as are virtually all products designated as exfoliants or scrubs. We have the perfect tool for this application, 3B Sigma Synthlin W600, acrylic rheology stabilizer and thickening agent. Working synergistically with surfactants, W600 maintains solution integrity after addition of solids, fragrances, and extracts. We're adding Synthlin W600 into deionized water, having a very small amount of keelant for preservative boost. As you can see, this 30% anionic acrylate solution is opaque at start, but will clear as we bring our pH close to the neutral. Our surfactants and dilute sodium hydroxide will be used for that. We'll gently heat this to 50 degrees Celsius for faster incorporation of surfactants. In this body wash formula, we'll feature three surfactants from Stepin, none of them sulfates, so as to soothe the clean beauty aficionados. I've ordered concentrations of these to reflect the classic approach of using a solids ratio of 4 to 2 to 1, respectively, of anionic to amphoteric to alkyl amid builder. Thousands of cleanser formulations have used that ratio for many decades. Let's add these three in the same order mentioned. Anionic added first, then amphoteric. then DEA-free amide. Once we have a uniform solution, we'll add a fourth surfactant, our own Emulsiderm PGEO, before adding anything else. Emulsiderm PGEO, olive oil, polyglycerol 6 esters, is used at 2% here, not so much for its surfactant property, but for its ability to convey olive oil itself into an aqueous vehicle such as this. It will not affect foam or viscosity, both good things, but it will leave a very fine sensorial film of olive oil on the skin after rinsing, an even better thing. With our surfactants correctly dispersed, we'll first adjust pH to the range 5.0 to 5.5 with dilute caustic soda. We may add a small amount of sodium chloride solution to bring viscosity to 6,000 to 10,000 millipascals, but Synthlon W600 works synergistically with the salt contribution from the amphoteric surfactants used. These adjustments optimize the final yield value of the system, critical to the stable suspension of the solids coming up next. It bears mention here that Synthlon W600 works in synergy with alkyl amides like the cocomide MIPA we used here. Both viscosity and yield value are viable at the sweet spot for skin cleansers at pH 5.0 to 6.0. With our viscosity and pH in the range we want, now it's time to add our skincare active solids. Active Derm AS is a fine ground apple seed perfect for mild exfoliation. Active Derm RP is a fine rice starch ideal for leaving a nice talcum-like sensation on the skin. So we use apple seed to slough away the dead skin cells and rice starch and olive oil to soften that top layer of skin cell afterward. Renewable fruits, renewable grains, clean. Now for finishing touches. Let's add our preservative, the always reliable rinse off product methyl isothiazolanone at a mere 50 parts per million. Finally, we'll add our fragrance. We're adding 0.7% to keep under that under 1% label placement. However, Synthlon W600 allows you to add up to the 2% carb limit without crashing viscosity as so many fragrances are known to do. There's no crash landing with Synthlon W600. As you can see, the two active derms convey a tan opacity to our body wash, which would otherwise be clear. That's a good quality for marketing to clean and beauty consumers. They have verifiable evidence of the skincare ingredients comprised within. 
Now, they cannot see the olive oil contribution. That's in the mixture, of course. But they will feel all the same when they use this cleanser.